the Ambassador of Malawi. Glad to be here. We're pleased to have you here. Thank you. Let, I'm pleased to present. Uh, I'll tell you, let's do that. Over there, yeah, wait, wait, Mrs. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mademoiselle. Yes, and here are some of the children. He said they didn't bring them all. <laughs> tell me their names. Hello. Uh, that's uh, uh, my, son. <laughs> my mother's name was Nellie. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> well, you and I go over here and do this. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, and my, my present passes the best wishes to you. Well, please convey my well name. Pleased to welcome you here. We appreciate very much the relationship that you maintain with South Africa. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, shall we all begin with the Ambassador of the Sudan. Yes. Well, welcome, Ambassador. And Mrs. Ahmed. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I will go over first in front of the fireplace for a photo and exchange of papers, and then you will join us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We have admired your effort to resist and be a help to the pressures imposed on you country by some neighbors, Libya, Ethiopia. I know. Well, we admire you for this, your stand. Mr. President of Zambia. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, this is my honor to visit your traditions. Well, we'll do that over there, but let's meet first. Mr. This is uh, my name. Nice to see you. Timo. Timo. Hello. Well, you and I will over in front of the fireplace and take a photo and do this, and then we'll have them come in. Thank you. Mr. President, it is my honor and pleasure to present my credits out to your great country. Thank you very much. Pleased to have you here. We admire the progress toward democracy in your country. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, they all come over and join us. Mr. President, good to see you. I'm pleased to meet you, sir. It's an honor. And Mr. Bukis. Nice to see you and have you here. You and I will go in front of the fireplace to exchange our papers, and then you will Thank you. Mr. President, you know, I might just say to you that we certainly appreciate uh, your efforts and your involvement 
an alpha for what you're trying to do and have great admiration for that. And I want you to know that. Well, thank you very much. The difference about how should we say that? Well, believe me, we hold and we pray that how this is going to come the order that we all want. Thank you, sir. And as long as you just know that there's another place to apart in the left get the you see that you are deeply committed. We want inside government and outside we want to see things. And I greatly really thank you for your department. I know that and I know there are many people today that are being overly critical because they don't understand how complicated and complex the situation is. And because now if I may just ask is don't turn your back on this. We really do go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Je vais tout faire I will do everything to strengthen the friendly relations which bind our two countries, the United States of America and Burundi. I know you will. Je sais que vous allez. C'est un grand plaisir de vous avoir ici avec nous. Merci, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. No. I think you get in the middle here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. 
wish we could have had nicer weather. Well, j'espère, j'aurais espéré avoir un meilleur temps pour vous accueillir ici. Mais le temps n'est pas si mal que ça. But it's not that bad. We were told that it was going to be very, very cold, and it's not. No, that's yet to come. Ça viendra. Well, but the sun will shine soon. Mais le soleil va sortir bientôt. C'est très bien pour nous Africains, c'est une bonne chose. For Africans, for us Africans, it's very good to see this. Well, all right, and I hope that you'll enjoy yourself. J'espère que vous aurez un très bon séjour ici à Washington. Nous pensons que Washington est une ville qui nous a semblé très agréable. We think that Washington is an extremely pleasant city already. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. Something pleased you. And welcome to all of you. Thank you. Bienvenue à vous tous. Young lady. Recently, supposedly it was based on my remarks. I had the pleasure of telling some of the media yesterday that this was a misinterpretation of my remarks. But uh, then, uh, also, I was gratified last night to see that my answer as to whether we were going to throw this thing away was only two words, so they couldn't believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, the whole idea, as you're curious, started around this table. And on your side of the table over there, the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And with a simple question that I asked, and that is, can it be that there is a weapon against which there is no defense? In all man's history, there has always been a defensive weapon, not to match an offensive one. And uh, they were wholehearted in their agreement that Yes, there should be the possibility of a defensive weapon. SDI started at that meeting and uh, at this table. I think it is something unique in a, in a whole century for all of mankind. I'll be talking to Mr. Gorbachev about our program and how I believe we can offer a safer world for everybody. And uh, I'll ask him to talk about his own program, too, because as you know, that for more years than we have, they've been engaged in seeking such a defense. And in overall defense, their, whole, their case goes beyond anything that we've uh, done so far. The general public isn't aware of this, and we'll depend on all of you to help make this clear to them that, uh, that they have been engaged also. And uh, I think that this program is vital to the future of our grandchildren. And very simply, what I think it could be is the answer to and the counter to offensive nuclear weapons throughout the world. But now you may ask questions or something with a dialogue instead of a monologue. Mr. President, uh, going to the summit, as to whether you will decide on the broader interpretation of the ABM treaty or the narrower interpretation the broader interpretation with very visible demonstrations would give all of us a lot of ammunition to use that this program will work. And it 
Truman help us to explain